Awesome, guys. Well, welcome to our affiliate mastermind. Today, we are joined by our lovely Catherine from our success team. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us. So Catherine, um, okay. she deals a lot with just current customers and um, strategy helps run a lot of the companies. So she's just a great resource to have. And so thank you for um, joining us today, Catherine. We really, we really do appreciate it. Just dressing the affiliates today. Usually you're not with us, so welcome. <laughs> well, first of all, it's an honor, really, and uh, the affiliate program is is something that we take very seriously. We we have JT in our side and Max here working wonders in, in those terms. So it's always great to to have a a full house or just a bunch of people on a weekly basis to to talk the affiliate program. But overall, let's you know let's just commit this session. Since let me just introduce myself briefly. Uh, I run uh, customer care for launch control. So basically our support and success teams, all things SMS engagement, all things strategy, all things how to generate your leads and, and how to get that deal flow in are basically our, our daily topic. So we do a lot of, of market researches. We do a lot of updating trends of sharing trends of sharing educational materials, live sessions, uh, sales and strategy focused, but also onboardings. So I guess uh, useful for all of you to know that you always got an in-house resource in, in terms of just onboarding your, your team members, getting them on track. Uh, we know that there's a lot of pieces to real estate investments. So you got to outsource and it's always great to have the right people on, on the right tasks, right? So in those terms, sometimes your teams are going to change and and you're going to have a lot of new people coming in that kind of need to pick up the drill immediately because the deals won't wait. So for that, we always have our success team primarily available uh, for deal flow blast off sessions, for lead conversion strategy sessions, and those are our in-house experts. So I would just really encourage everyone to, to start this call. If you haven't had a chance to, to talk to those guys, they really are magicians when it comes to, to strategy and all the hacks that are up to date that they've collected from our most successful users, from our highest performers, uh, people that hit a huge volume, multi-market setups. So all those people are just basically... Uh, let's say a daily POC for, for our success team. So they can hear a lot from, from them. That's awesome, Catherine. Yeah. There's, there's, there's quite a lot on the back end to just support what we have up front to make the systems all work flawlessly. So we, you know, we appreciate the teams. And on top of that, it's, it's the fact that um, you're even able to join us here, for example, with affiliates, those who are referring um, other people. And that's obviously my goal working um, with all of you guys, with our partnerships, all of our affiliates, is to make sure that those who aren't maybe on the platform, I, I don't want to assume you guys are or aren't, you understand the value of the platform. So that's why I think it's always important to um, touch on, on the product itself and actually, you know, give an overview of why launch is where it is. You know what I'm saying? Like why we've been able to dominate real estate and, of course, moving into to different verticals um, here in the future. But I think it's important to just uh, touch base on those things. And so, Catherine, I would like to address if we could start with um, just looking at what resources we have for our affiliates. So anyone who's on this call, anyone who is not currently in our affiliate program, I join on. How can I refer over more people? Let's say maybe I have an audience already, which is obviously a great start. And everyone has a, a community they're connected to. Um, what can you and um, our team help put together for people. And maybe you could touch on some past examples. I know we did, uh, Michael, I think was on there with Brent Daniels and such, but um, maybe you can touch a bit on how you've totally. been able to host, you know, meetings or trainings and how we can organize that. We'll be happy to elaborate by the way, Ken, thanks for for joining us and, and a couple of other people. Uh, well, basically guys, what, what you can get, and we know that no one likes building content, right? It's time consuming, it's boring. So that's something you shouldn't worry about with us. Uh, we build the content as targeted as possible, the way that uh, you needed, the way that any of your signups coming in needed. And of course, it's it's just a small outreach. And now you can sign up for our affiliate program in-app. So whoever is a launch user, they can do that. That's a pretty cool new release that that our product team did. So it's a pretty easy setup. Once you sign up, it's it, it's a 
fifteen percent monthly commission, obviously, but but not just that 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 your loan subscription would would get paid for itself. It's about spreading the network and and that knowledge share. So besides the content that that we offer to everyone, we hold the training sessions, which are again upon a conversation with with any of our affiliates, always very specific. So there's you know each of you will have. A separate charm. So in that sense, it's always great for Max and, and anyone on my team to be having conversations with you and to see what is it that you're really trying to, to achieve with, with your signups, with your whole investment philosophy. So we got the content to back that up. We got the training sessions, uh, just sit downs, not only to talk about SMS engagement, but but to talk about everyone's business goals and not just for, for our affiliates. So this is the kind of a treatment we uh, we offer to everyone. So anyone can, can walk in, say, hey, I'm a brand new investor or I'm a super experienced guy killing the market. Uh, anyone can definitely uh, walk in and, and sit with us and, and get the content they need get the content specific to their market, to the, the approach they need to take, to the type of deals they're doing, uh, on top of the content, a very guided experience, and not just the the one-on-one -on -one human touch that is, again, completely free of charge for, for all launch users, but it's also the educational materials uh, that are, again, very specifically targeted for for the usage and just platform engagement stage you're in, because we very carefully measure those those key indicators of, of good activity of what we've seen brings the deals to people. That is where we drive e each and every one of our customers. So anyone mm -hmm. coming through you will get the proper content set up. Anyone coming through you will get the proper education hacks current market trends, up-to-date information on, on anything that our team gathers. And it's a huge team talking to about 2K plus people on a daily basis or a weekly one for sure. So definitely a lot of info. Uh, what what I can just encourage you is to, to talk to you always. So whoever is listening to this, Launch Control, success at launchcontrol.us. So these guys provide any platform training. They can place your content order for you. You can reach out on, on support chat to do that. Becoming an affiliate, it's an easy setup. Nurturing uh, nurturing that is, is definitely a joint work for from both you and us and knowing Max here, uh, definitely very much hands-on having all that in mind. Mm, that's a lot. Thank you, Catherine. That's, it's, <laughs> there's so much that the, the team... Um, you know, provides and there's the, the thing with launch and, and especially the position you guys are in as affiliates, it's like you're not coming up and talking to some retailer or someone who works in retail at a store who doesn't know, you know, all of the products in every category and what's the best. It's like when you come to us for help or you're looking to maybe put on, you know, host a podcast or um, a webinar or a training or putting on a demo for um, you know, maybe you're doing coaching right now, any of that, when we hop on and join, when Catherine hops on and, and joins that, you're getting the best up-to-date info. Like she said, 2000 people, you know, there's so many points of contact. There's so much data coming in and we're essentially filtering all of that out and just skipping all of the, you know, basic steps, like, listen, just straight up, this is what works. This is what's working right now. These are best practices. And that's important. And that's huge because like you said, it's all live and up-to-date because, this game is ever changing, and especially we're always playing games with um, the carriers, right? It's like it's it's all just a, a game with them, and and you know one week they change their rules, and as you see people get shut down um, on other platforms and such. So you gotta you know you gotta be careful, make sure you're on a good platform, and so um, you know we're happy at launch to provide that and just make sure deliverability is always you know it's always cranking. Your business doesn't have to uh, suffer because of that, but maybe also Catherine, you could. Um, I know you've you've been on a few. Um, I know you're on with with uh, Zach in as well. There's there's opportunities for affiliates just to kind of brainstorm for for people and to help them think. Because sometimes people are again they'll come to me and ask like, well, how do I refer more people? And so you know it's the million dollar question. It's like, well, what's your situation? You know, so maybe you can address specifically from your standpoint what um, you know maybe what you've done in the past and and some things that have maybe worked best for you. Definitely. Well, Max, you brought up the best practices, right? So there's a, a couple of practices I would recommend for, for anyone walking in. 
And, and not just that, as we said, it's very straightforward to, to sign up for the affiliate program, but then just talking about no matter which industry are you, are you actually working in? If you're doing coaching, if you're doing real estate, uh, there's a lot of factors that are come, that are going to come into play in terms of how successful your campaign is going to be. So more than anything, that's, that's quality follow-up, uh, mm -hmm. having solid content, having very good best practices, proven best practices, built content. That is, well, first of all, let's say the key point of your starting game. After that, you gotta make sure your data is on point. Even before importing data, make sure it's segmented so that you know how your prospect division works even without texting them to start with through launch control, right? So whether you wanna segment them, uh, by priority, whether you want to segment them by urgency, by area, perhaps. So segmenting your lists just within five or 6K prospects per list, that would be my recommendation. The worst thing, and let's do this as an A-B example. The worst thing you can do, especially knowing the data spend that, that probably all of us right have and anyone doing, no matter if investments or any other data you need, the first thing you're going to have is the data spend. What you want to do with that data is not wasted, right? You're just burning leads if you don't text them properly. So the thing we put stress on, yes, that initial outreach to anyone, no matter the industry, is a conversation opener. And that's treated as a lead in SMS marketing. But what your VA's job or your job, if you're a one-man army, is, is to maintain those conversations timely. So besides the data, solid content, good timing, and good average reply time are something that I would call crucial. On top yeah. of that, there are other factors. So this is obviously a multi, multi-step thing, and mm -hmm. and it's a lot of uh, let's say bells and whistles. They got to be working together like a well-oiled machine so that you can get success. It's not a plug-and-play thing. It's an easy setup, but it takes work. So mm -hmm. anyone's expectation of of launch control in general as a platform being plug-and-play. I would feel free to say would, would probably be wrong, right? Unless it's it's the managed services part. However, if we if we really tackle this early on, if you start working with with our team, uh, let's say within the first week upon sign up, probably within three months, you're going to have a very well established, very well built uh, pipeline with a lot of hot and warm leads that are qualified, that are ready for your CRM, et cetera. What's very important, meanwhile. Good data, good content, timely outreach, and nurturing that pipeline. Our drip automations, those are a killer. They bring 80% of deals that that come through launch. And this has mm -hmm. been people the same love throughout. Yeah. I'll always <laughs> yeah, say it on the phone, like the... too, even when I chat with people. Man, I love your drip automation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So people love everything. Like, we live in a very busy time, I would say, right? So people mm -hmm. love everything that's going to reduce their time waste, especially if they're doing business. So we're all mm -hmm. looking to automate everything. So imagine having this capacity of automating stuff as much as possible, but also making it as personal as possible so that you can leave your signature, that you can really make sure to communicate mm -hmm. the stuff the way you want to communicate. So Max, I would I would yeah. say those are like the big five, the big five yeah. for me. No, those are huge. That's that's super solid. And I think that's good for. Anyone who's watching this, and and again, it's a lot. Just like you said, it's very multifaceted. Remember, this is recorded. Um, you guys can revisit this. Take all of this in as, you know, take all the inventory and all of this stuff. And then when people ask you, well, why should I use launch? Boom, you have all of these reasons, right? And especially if you're using the platform already, it's pretty straightforward. What's going on, Mufasa? You got a question? Any any comments so far? Yeah, I like, um, I like what I'm hearing so far. Yes, um, awesome. I just got launched uh, maybe a week, uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I already had. Oh, okay. uh, thank you, thank you. I want to go to the um, getting my campaign set up to get um, deals, and I just I was so busy at the time when I got launched, the VA that I was gonna sign to do launch is who I got trained, but he's mm -hmm. from overseas. I just don't, I switch to somebody that's more capable, that's better, right? Mm -hmm. So I just mm -hmm. want to go to your host set up to make sure I have the right campaign because the YouTube, I've seen somebody else. I'm not sure if they're affiliated with you guys, 
but they seen something about come get their template and get with them. And I'm just like, yeah, Let me just stick so that's with definitely, source. yeah, definitely make sure you on. reach out to, to Catherine and her team. And maybe you guys can even um, follow up after again, shoot. Mm-hmm. She dropped it already in the chat. Here's definitely reach out to them. Success at launch control. Okay. Yeah. There so you know, look at that. Plus, I just Correct. sent Thanks. you the calendar link. So you mm-hmm. can, you can book a sit down with, with these yeah. guys to just equip you for, for the basics, setting up the software so that you can use it in an optimized way. So here's the calendar there link. All right. Thank well, you. Appreciate you guys so much. Of course. Of course. Thanks, yeah. Mufasa. Yeah. But um, also outside of that, Catherine, are there any, um, maybe just as a final point here, if unless anyone has, you know, anything to add at the end is um, what are you seeing just briefly? Obviously we could go super in depth just with the market in general, because we, we, I put it on the agenda. I, I promise we'd cover it just in general, real estate market. Are you seeing anything, um, any drastic changes from you know last month to this month or um, anything to add on that end? Well, what, what we've give seen give us is, the secrets. You know, give us the secrets. One of the please. one of the main, and this is why we did one of the recent market researches. It's basically it was the info that a lot of people are struggling to get that to get the good data in, right? So we mm-hmm. were we were hearing that. So we were trying to figure out where where has the drop off been in the deal flow mm-hmm. because you know we got some complaints and a couple of busy markets. Hey, my, I'm doing all the same things, and then my my lead gen is is just simply not the same anymore. So mm-hmm. a lot of things can can affect that. You might might need to refresh your content. You might need to get different leads and new lists, uh, you might be reaching out of your outside of your buy box. So it's very important to to be checking on the market conditions. And let's say, let me see what I can share is, there's a couple of interesting, okay. I just pulled up one of the market reports. So the insider stuff, you guys, it's the inside. <laughs> Multi, multi-billion yeah. dollar information. Exactly. Well, you know, that's something that we got from our users. So I would, I would definitely treat it that way. Um, Let's say, Texas, anyone from Texas around? No, let me try. Tennessee, Hmm. Texas, Tennessee, Max. Sorry, give me a second. No, you're good. No, it's a lot. (laughs) I mean, so so let's talk Florida. Because for for launch, Florida is home, right? Yeah. (laughs) So there were some, there was some, well, the, the currently, uh, the challenges that the Florida housing market has, has currently been facing have been due to the rising mortgage rates. It resulted in a decline in both single family and townhouse or condo sales, for example. So Despite this, the market is is still seeing the median prices that are 4% higher than the last year, right? So the medial mm-hmm. the median sales price increase increased. So there has been a decline in the in the level of new listings for uh, for homes for sales compared to a year ago, which could be contributing to to the decline in sales. However, the the inventory levels have increased for both categories, although still below pre pre pandemic levels. Another mm-hmm. thing: high mortgage rates they may lead to to a decrease in price appreciation. They may affect buyers' demand, right? But again, despite these challenges, what we've kind of identified through our research is that the, the Florida housing market, for example, should uh, should definitely be stable at at minimum for for the next five years. So no no major concerns. Again, in a lot of markets, uh, I've I've also heard this from one of our experienced very experienced users. Uh, he the way he stated it was that the sellers were in la la land. So how we understand that, how we understand that is that the sellers were just not aware and that that can be the case across markets. The sellers are not aware that the worth of, of their property has changed, that the market has shifted, that something has, has affected that price. So I would always work with a calculator, right? So explain the numbers, lay out your case, explain why that might be the wrong belief in that moment because and this is why drip automations are amazing because you can ask all those post discovery questions where you can mm-hmm. identify what's the pain point that that people think they have for for selling that home you got to yeah. check their motivation you got to investigate what's what's the real deal so what's mm-hmm. what's the thing they believe is a blocker for them to to be selling that property so 
Max, I guess. That's awesome. Or the trends yeah, no, for that's today. Good. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, hey, when people are in La La Land, they, uh, it's hard <laughs> to get them out. So uh, we appreciate that. I was curious. Yeah, it does. It does. I was curious, Nick, Omar, Ken, anyone else? Do you guys have any specific questions for um, either Catherine or just the affiliate system in general? I do want to first just say, keep in mind, like this is this is just you know a call with with um, with you guys on it. But remember, you guys can hop on a one on one with myself. We can address um, where you guys are at currently. I'll make sure you guys are plugged in with the right resources that you need. Um, so don't don't worry about that. And you guys should be getting obviously the automatic communication from us. So you know, feel free to reach out to me, just max at launchcontrol.us as well. Um, but is there any you know final things before we end the call here? Um, any current current questions? Yeah, do you have more and better affiliate content media we can use? Awesome question, Ken. Check your first promoter account. Um, so that's you know your affiliate account. Check out first promoter. Go to assets on the left hand side, and there's going to be tons of assets there. Lots of media for you guys to use. There's even there's copyright. I mean, there's pre written emails for you guys. There's um, you know posts that are already you know fill in the blank type of stuff. So we just want to minimize the the effort. And like Catherine said, it's like everyone's busy, man. So any time taken off your guys' plates um, or given back to you, I should say, um, you know, is, is obviously great. So definitely uh, visit that. And if you have questions, Ken, feel free to just reach out to me, and I'm uh, more than happy to to help you out with that. Can we have the Gmail on the chat, please? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. It should be, uh, yeah, it should be all the auto communication as well. It should be dropping there. But that's my email, you guys. So feel free to just uh, shoot me an email. We'd love to hop on uh, one on one call with you guys. And I can also just get you, if you'd rather just schedule right now, I can get you um, my link as well. There you go. It's my Conley. So feel free to just book a call directly uh, with me there, too. That's pretty helpful, man. Thank you. Yeah, and of course. Something, you know, I would like to add that I faced with lunch control because uh, with the VA that I have, we found that when we do marketing analysis and that stuff, uh, we thought that making every list going directly to lunch control, that's not the maximum efficiency. So because there is a lot of people at the beginning, they don't want to, you know, they don't, they don't want to text. They don't want any phones. Like, let me give you like an each list, like a pro paid one. Okay. There are people who you have to text them, not just call them. Okay. So regarding to which list there you go, you, that you are going to use with lunch controls, you have to make like a strategy or making analysis for every and each list. Are these people is going to respond to calls? Are these people is going to respond to text? And that stuff. There are some people needs to call first to, to be called first, and then they need to be text. So there's a lot of strategy that I found with lunch control. And when I used a lot of CRMs in texting, I found that lunch control have the highest uh, respond to SMS in cold calling. I call it calls to dots percentage, you know. But when it comes to texting, awesome. responding, so it's you know it take for me a lot of uh, you know a lot of strategies and some math, so you can reach to the highest ROI of launch control, because mm -hmm. when it comes to automations, when it comes to simplicity of the application, I found that launch control is very helpful for me. So awesome. I would like to add, and I would like to thank you, Max. I'd like to thank you, Catherine, for that meeting or for that live i really appreciate Thanks, that guys man. awesome thank you omar we you appreciate you joining that, yeah thank, thank you so you. much it's it's always good to hear from those who have used you know different platforms or or using a bunch of tools out there it's cool to hear that you know launch out of the many things you use is something that you're seeing um you know a good roi on so thank you brother we always relay good messages to the team so we appreciate Max, that. just to for me to answer uh, ken's question ken you do land well this is the first time I learn about this because this is when we meet. However, we have a lot, a lot of customers uh, targeting land specifically, especially, well, commercial land, uh, seven figure deals have been closed through launch control for, for those in particular. So we have a very well established library of content for, for land specifically. Also, there are some other examples besides urgency examples of motivational play that can trigger this change of heart with land sellers. So uh, let me reach out to, to you. I'll have someone from 
Yeah, and I, I was just going to answer that one. So I'll have someone from, <laughs> from my team uh, send you a, a couple of samples of that. And those would be motivational check and uh, drip message templates uh, just to, well, get you started in those and maybe have a workshop or, or just to sit down with one of the CSMs to to check out how to how to build more of that. I think Ken's on a on a flight right now or something. He's flying a helicopter, so he can uh, can't shout at you yet, <laughs> Kathy. Cool. Seems like it. Ken, please awesome. leave your email so that I can reach out. Thank you. Cool guys. Well, we really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, just the kind words, Omar, and just the questions and comments in general. You guys, you got his email there, Catherine. Yep. Thank you so nice. much, Max. Thanks cool for stuff. the invitation. Of course, yeah. Thank you again for joining us, Catherine, and for uh, the great bank of wisdom that you are, and and just always being available and and willing to help out. So we really appreciate it. Cool. All righty, guys. We'll take care. And we'll see you on the next call. Reach out if you need anything. We got you. Adios. See you guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. Cheers.